But look, they play the Christmas tree of doom. This is a sign, friend. This is a sign. Welcome back to another episode, the first proper episode of Outcast to Icons. Um, I hope you're looking forward to this because I bloody am. If you are, drop a like, that'd be lovely. Helps out YouTube stuff. So <laughs> yeah, thanks in advance. So today is all going to be about finding that first job in this save. Uh, now, I like to take a scattergun approach to these things. I like to uh, apply for every single job available. That way we can get the, the premium, the optimum amount of rejection. It's like FM Tinder. I, I actually don't know. I've never used Tinder in my life. I'm an absolute boomer. Before any of that, it is time to thank new patrons. Uh, even some since last night, which is actually nuts. So we've got Colin Mellers, Cave Puppet, um, Mountain Eagle, and then up pledges from Stefanos Messios and Bert Bertsonson as well. Thank you, everybody. Seriously, uh, that's amazing. Also, there's some discussion about the database that we're using. So essentially, um, I had to sort of botch this together because I was originally using the Timo one. Everyone loves Timo's stuff. But unfortunately, he decided to stop making uh, new databases from the 21.1, no, 21.2 update onwards. So none of them really worked anymore. Uh, so I had to re-verify a lot of them myself. A lot of them, however, did not re-verify properly, and I'm not good enough with databases to fix them. So some of them are ones that he made that are re-verified, and some of them are from, I believe, uh, I think it's Weary on FM Scout as well. So I managed to plug a lot of the gaps with his databases. Some of those had to be re-verified too. And the rest are just like base game stuff for the most part. So that's why there's still a couple of leagues missing potentially. And I couldn't go as deep in some as I would have liked. So essentially what I'm going to do is because the database is a bit of a mess, um, I'm going to put the save file up from this point. So if you want to play along, you can actually just jump straight into the save how I've exactly set it up. But be warned, it's very, very big because of all the leagues I have loaded. And if you don't have a computer that's like quite powerful you might struggle to run it at a speed that's actually playable um but you could turn some leagues off and sim a bit future and then they'll turn themselves off and it will slow things down but just bear that in mind the big question as well that i forgot to answer in the first video is what happens if a team that we're managing gets to a final uh well the answer to that is simple and this is how we did it when we did it on stream if we win the final then you get to stay i.e if it's a europa conference league or europa league obviously if it's the champions league then we've won the save if you lose the final you have to resign. And that right there puts that added element of jeopardy on any final that sh we should potentially reach during this save. So that was how we did it when we did this on stream. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that could make this very, very tense at times because there's way more on the line for losing finals now. And lastly, there was some talk about highlights of the streams. Now, I don't have stream highlights because unfortunately, it's just I simply don't have time to edit that. However, I do upload the streams to my second channel, uh, which will be linked to in the description, which is Straight Red Card. I know, creative, right? Okay, so that's enough of the bush beating. They have been firmly beaten to hell. So essentially, we're just going to start off here by jumping straight in and applying for every single job. Now, sometimes when you do this, it doesn't actually apply for every single job. So we'll have to come back and keep an eye on this screen. I've now convinced myself that that was a visual glitch. And in fact, we have applied for the jobs because I can see no way of applying for them on the page. So that means that this is just, I'm hoping, a visual glitch. Imagine that, FM with a visual glitch. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start progressing and just see what happens. Now, I realize that we're not going to get some of these jobs. Uh, for example, we've applied for the Inter Milan job. Can you imagine the boardroom at Inter getting our job application through? Well, the TB board are interested, so that's something. Um, okay. Ooh, okay, so this is the kind of teams that we're getting turned down by. Uh, Shatar Bolat Temertal, who I believe are Kazakhstani. Now, obviously, we've got a bit of history in Kazakhstan. Uh, Spartak Semi was probably the, the turning point of the last Outcast of Icon save that we did on YouTube. However, um, I can't even find them. That They're not in the database anymore. They must have slipped off the face of the earth. Them and Zuriek of Malta, sadly, seem to have just disappeared. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Although, <gasps> oh dear. Wow. <laughs> to give you an idea of just how far we have fallen, Wish.com Ajax aren't even considering us for the job. I'm going to be honest, I was kind of hoping they would because I had quite big plans and like maybe we could go to this team, but that's the level we're at. We can't even get a job for these guys. They are a top flight side in, in, uh, in Estonia, to be fair. So I guess they have standards, apparently. Burnley said no. <laughs> You're missing out, Burnley. You're missing out. It is very strange, some of the clubs that will accept us. So like, for example... GKS Tichi, they're quite a big side. 
comparatively speaking to our Estonian fellas. And yet they're like, come and come and mate, pull up a chair. Hang on. Sorry. 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 Inter didn't outright reject us. I suspect that perhaps the clubs that rejected us might have been clubs that are literally in the process of appointing a manager. That's my hope. I'm hoping that the Estonians didn't reject us for no reason, because even Inter paid us more attention. The disrespect. Well, I guess now all we have to do is sit back and wait for all the job offers to come in. That's how this works, right? Ah, so that explains it, I think. That, that those clubs did, rejected us because they had already got candidates basically about to be appointed. Hey, a job offer! It's Velashta! I, I don't know who Velashta are. Oh, we're looking Albania here. This is looking like Albania. This is not. This is the Macedonian second division, isn't it? Okay. Um, Semi-pro. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Finances are okay, which to be fair at this level is basically billionaire. Now, obviously, one of the things we're going to have to concentrate on is try not to be at clubs in theory, particularly later in the save, that have poor financial situations because we need them to fund our coaching badges. We need them to, to fund our lifestyle. They're going to be the ones to buy me the Botox and the boats and all that jazz so we can have a bigger boat on the Dalmatian coast. We're going to have to move Croatia soon, aren't we? So, Let's do a job interview. I don't know if this has changed much from last year. I can't imagine it has, but let's crack on. We're going to be doing a lot of job interviews, so obviously I won't show you them all, but we've got to show you the first one. So, Zdravko Hristov is the chairman at Velashta. Okay, let's crack on. Down to business. Not speaking the language. Um, that's fine. We all know Semifor. Exactly, we'll pick up the bits and pieces. It's fine. Running for a few jobs right now, because I am an absolute job slut. I'm just saying. Yeah, I like it. Let's be honest with him. Let's be straight with uh, Zdravko. Come on. Better than my predecessor. I'm going to be honest with you, mate. I don't know who that is. Though given that he won six games, I'm guessing that we could maybe do slightly better than that. Bold statement, I realise. Yes. What's the target, though? Maybe tell us the targets first. Much sooner than anyone could have anticipated. I mean, you're the one that sacked him, mate. It's not like he just disappeared one morning. Won't be a repeat of that. Or did he? Did he leave to take another job? Is there a conspiracy under the hood at Velashta? It's my intention to commit a long... Uh, oh, oh, this is new. This is new. I'm going to not lie. I can't. I can't. I'm like George Washington. I can't tell a lie. I think I can make this happen. Yes. Could you get us back on track? Yes. Uh, I am a tactician. Is the one for tacticians? Closer than people think. Damn right. So obviously, we're not just going to take the first job that comes along. You can kind of put them off for a couple of weeks if you need to. And that's what we're going to try and do here. Um, how long have they got left in the season? 27 games. They have three games left of the season. I quite like the idea if we were to take over at Velesta to just jump straight in balls first and just see if we can keep them up that would be quite fun to be honest i'd much rather do that than take over at the start of next season with no pressure and in case you're wondering yes it is the macedonian second tier uh is the, is the level we're looking at here i'm happy to start immediately yes i i quite like this they're actually making you promise stuff which i think is going to form the basis of your club vision stuff when you actually get there this i don't remember being in the game last time and i'm excited about this because it means that we could end up making horrendous errors i wouldn't need to increase it that's fine yes there we go Within wage budget. Not judging. Perfect. Lovely. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Let's crack on. I I'm not going to start demanding things of them right now. I can't imagine they've got two pennies to rub together. So we're not going to ask for like new youth facilities. Although, no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that. We're not exactly in a position to be making demands. We are a no-name manager who no one's ever heard of who's just strolled in off the street with his like dinghy behind him. Right. Okay. Let's get some more jobs on the line. Essentially as well, I'm getting news articles about every single job sacking in Europe. So I'm circling around like the vulture that I am. The moment the manager gets sacked, I'm just on the door like, hi. Well, would you believe it? Milan have turned me down. The disrespect is immeasurable. Right. Hello. A team from, I'm assuming, Lithuania or Latvia. It's Lithuania. And they're a top flight side, I think. I'm not sure they are actually, given that the six teams. Nope. This does appear to be the Lithuanian top flight. They have six teams and 20 games between them. Ooh. I should also stress that because of the mismatch and the, the mismatching of the database and stuff, I hope that a lot of the league rules are going to be correct, but I honestly cannot guarantee because it was not something that I was going to be able to look up myself. So we may run into problems potentially at times where the league rules don't match entirely real life football. For all I know, Lithuania actually is like this. Nope, I am on Wikipedia, friends, and it does indeed have six teams. Um, I'm guessing COVID done put the kibosh on a lot of those team seasons. I think they're expanding back out again. So that would explain it. Okay, they're actually willing to give me a transfer budget of five grand. We could buy like a, a used golf for that. Okay, job offer or job opportunity perhaps in the Austrian lower leagues. Why not? So we've got the feelers out about three jobs now. Seven news articles. This should be good. Oh, you love to see it. Uh, Zag, as I used to know them in the Polish league. That's a surprisingly high job actually. And then Jesen Tuki, who don't even have a badge. Oh, now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. 
This is more like it. More Austrian lower league teams. I'm trying not to promise them too much in these meetings, but if we start not getting these jobs because of that, I might have to start making outlandish promises that I absolutely cannot deliver on. Oh, oh we have job offers. We have job offers. Okay, right. This is interesting. So we've been offered three jobs just on the same day. I like to believe that they all sent couriers around and they were fighting on our front doorstep. Who am I kidding? We live in our car. Now, I think it's important as well to look at how much money we're being offered by the clubs too, because we've actually got to try to afford a place wherever we're going to live. So the Austrians want to give us £625 a week. Hey, the Latvians want £1,000 a week. God damn it. What about, what about the Albanians? Not Albanians, they're uh, Macedonians. My apologies. It's not great as far as that money goes is it but it might be cheap to live there potentially um okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna delay as much as we can because i want to give them more chance to get more jobs in i think we can delay for up to two weeks which allow us to get more and more jobs on the table before we decide what we're actually going to do here because i'm not just going to choose the job that has the most money or is at the biggest club i'm looking for interesting stories particularly at the very start of the save where you kind of have more wiggle room to do all sorts of mad shit and you know there's one thing i love it's mad shit so we've delayed them all for a week. I think we can delay them one more time. So it, it should give us enough time to potentially get some more job offers in and make a decision with like four or five of them on the table. Because that's the best plan to do. What's the bet? And we end up just taking the first job we got offered. I, it wasn't my plan, but they seem the most interesting one of the bunch so far. But we'll have to see. Okay. Okay. Some more options then. So FC Van. Oh dear. If ever a team had me interested, it's FC Van. I'm guessing they're based in Yerevan, if I had to guess. But the fact that they're called FC Van is extremely interesting to me. I get the feeling, though, that they're probably a bit beyond us. And Besa are coming in as well of the Albanian League. Like, if I had to choose one right now, it would probably be the Macedonian one, just because of the challenge of where they are right now. However, we'd have a closer look should that the situation come up. Although, FC Van, I don't know. But I just don't think we're going to be good enough to get that job. Okay, so Krisko want us as well on a decent amount of cash. So our one week deadline is coming up very, very soon. Okay, two more jobs have come in. That looks like another Austrian lower league team. Sportsklub Vorwelt Steer. Um, yeah, let's go. At this stage, obviously, it, it's less about trying to make the biggest jump to begin with and more just trying to find an interesting starting point, to be honest. Uh, we can concentrate on pure ambition uh, in the coming jobs. I'm just trying to find an interesting story to begin with. My issue now potentially with the first team we looked at might be that they've already played more games now and they may be in bigger doo-doo than we thought. Oh, we can delay more. We can. I knew it was two weeks. Hopefully they'll let us. What's the situation at Valesta like now? So they actually have a relegation battle game tomorrow, which <laughs> this could go real bad. I think what happens in that game might be part of my decision making. I'm not going to lie, but we want to give ourselves the best chance of having the most jobs on the table, really, to pick one. Uh, we're going to try and delay again. Yes, yeah, see, they went and lost. Uh, they lost 2-0, which means they are now in trouble. There's a relegation playoff, uh, which they're staring down the barrel of now. What I'm probably going to do is wait for the... We have to make a decision on those teams and then look at who we've potentially got jobs on the table for and make a choice based on many different factors. But we'll discuss that when that day comes, which should be very soon, I think. Technically, they'll let me delay more, but I don't know if that's true. Let me just test this on this Austrian team. I'm not so sure about this job, so we'll see. Yeah, so basically, they get annoyed at you if you try to do it three times in a row. So this is the day we have to make a decision. Although I feel like I've kind of burned my bridges here in Austria with this decision. here. <laughs> Although I wasn't super keen on this one anyway, just because I, I prefer to start completely away from things rather than in the lower leagues of a more established nation, if that makes sense. So I don't think we're going to do the Austria one anyway. Um, now, these are on the table. Obviously, so are the other ones. We could reject one of these if we know the other ruffles are coming in. So let's see who we've got on the table. So Baser have offered us a job. Uh, we've got Krisko as well. Uh, these guys are also in Austria. And then there's the La the Lithuanian guys and obviously Velesht. And we are actually the favourites, the 1 to 10 favourite for that job, whereas they seem to be fancying this lad here. I mean, I'd hate to make a decision based on the fact that they are pure garbage, but um, <laughs> they are pure garbage. I'm still really tempted to take KF Velesht, to be honest. Just something really out there. Semi-pro, Macedonian second division, fighting against relegation. But look, they play the Christmas tree of doom. This is a sign, friends. This is a sign. I'm honestly very tempted to take the KF Velesta job, to be honest. Just start somewhere mad. Macedonian second division with KF Velesta in the midst of a relegation battle to avoid relegation to the third tier of Macedonian football. I mean, there's two games to go. They can survive if they win both. However... 
Um, the key, honestly, would be to not drop into those two spots because there's still a relegation playoff. Uh, which would come. I don't know if it's two-legged. I have no idea. But there's still a chance for them to survive should that happen. However, there's still a chance that they could slip down. They could come bottom of this league. We could be responsible for that. But the Christmas tree, even though we don't really have this idea to play it, but it's a sign, surely. I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going KF Valeshta, the first team I saw. Of course it is. Um, I don't know. I just... Something just got me about them. I like their story. We don't know the story yet, but I'm sure it's wonderful. We're going to make no money there. Or £250 a week, actually. Probably get quite a nice place uh, in Macedonia. I don't even know where Valeshta is, or if I'm saying it right. Let's do it. Let's actually do it. We're about to make this happen. So, a one-year contract. I can sort of understand that. Um, I, I don't think we can really negotiate much here, other than that we want to start managing this club very, very quickly. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, cheers. <laughs> KF Valeshta hire Kim Min. They're desperate. They need someone to come in and turn the fortunes. Jesus, they were supposed to come fourth this year. It's not gone well. Current season, cup. Yep, that's the plan. Poor training facilities, poor youth facilities, limited youth recruitment. Oh, it's like the three wise men if they were all really, really dumb. So we're in. They play in shirts reminiscent of AC Milan. Maybe we can get them playing like AC Milan. Is Latin available? We are in. Min takes Valeshta hot seat. You love to see it. The finances are very bad. Uh, very, 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 very bad. We're 86k in debt and we're overspending on our wage. Wait, what? We're overspending on our wage budget as well, which is just wonderful news. Lots of players. Well, yeah, players in the last year of contact. All of them, because it's a one year contract, I expect. We'll sort out tactics and stuff later. <laughs> We've got a game in eight days. It's fine. It's not been a good run for them. They've got two games left to save themselves against fourth place Gostivar and, oh good, top of the league Skopje. G gr brilliant. Great. Now, obviously, we can go through this way more in the next video, but the best players are very clearly Alexander Dalcheski, who is a defensive midfielder. Uh, tackling a 13 at this level, obviously, I'll change these, um, is not bad. A Segunda Fal Yeah, okay. Cheers, game. Yes, I'm going to play him as a Segunda Volante in the Macedonian second division. And then they've also got Altin Loga, a 31-year-old striker with 13 finishing, 13 composure. I'll tell you what, he's not super quick, but given them the right positions, man could do something for us. He scored four goals this season. Any bright young prospects? We've got a youngster on loan from uh, a team of the top flight, Andrei Stoichevsky, who's a decent-looking centre midfielder as well. Check the under-21s. Any good youth talent? No. Senad Ibrahimi is probably the best. He's a six-foot centre-back with six marking and tackling. Two-foot, he's got, you know, he's good on either feet, though. This is the, the bed we've made ourselves. Hopefully, we can dig them out of trouble at the end of this season, keep them in the second division, and then try to go for a bit more of a situation next year. This is going to be incredibly, incredibly difficult. Reminds me a lot of FC's lobbing over in the Belarusian third tier that we did on stream, but I'm very, very excited to get going. So, next episode will be, of course, um, I'm not entirely sure what it'll be. Like, we'll live comp both these games, obviously. Uh, we'll make a decision at the time about what's going to actually happen, because it's the end of the season, so we'll just like live comet uh we're gonna try and build a tactic in two league games that's gonna be fun um we can't do anything related to transfers at the moment that's gonna have to wait till the summer we're just gonna have to try and find something that will solidly see us through these final two games i think honestly we need to beat gostivar in our next match we're not gonna win away at skopje in the next one after that if we can just i think beat gostivar that'll be enough to probably get us into the playoff match and then have to hope that the team that we're playing against are absolute bobbins so yeah that's the situation we are here we found our club that club is kf valeshta uh, hang on na do we not have a stadium either i assume that's just a visual glitch i hope <laughs> oh god i hope anyway if you've enjoyed this and i hope you have drop a like on the video that would be spectacular if you're new to the content and you've enjoyed this as well subscribe that'd be sick too and uh yeah stream on twitch tuesdays thursdays and at the weekend so go follow there as well and i will see you guys very very soon hopefully this works and uh yeah hold your gun capybara bye-bye